Hola muchachos, you're listening to English Made Simple. This is episode 38, número 38. Hola muchachos, my fellow English learners, what's up? ¿Qué tal? Happy Chilean Independence Day and happy Independence Day to Mexico. Everyone be safe this long weekend and enjoy yourselves. Radio, my name is Milena. Nice to have you on board to yet another episode of English Made Simple. Welcome to the new listeners. You've come to the right place where you can learn to speak English with confidence. Hope everyone is doing well this weekend. Now, in the past uh, three or four episodes, we learned to form questions using different tenses. And we also learned how to be polite. Just remember this at the end of the day, guys. Saying the three magic words will save you from any situation. It will help you. The three magic words were sorry and thank you. <laughs> I think these are the most overused words in the English language and the most helpful, of course. Now, before we start, I'm going to give a shout out to Lucas from Santiago de Chile. A shout out means it's a credit or a mention or a greeting. Okay, it's it's just an informal way to say a greeting. I'll give a shout out to Lucas who listened to episode number nine and left a nice comment on English Made Simple website. He's also addicted to coffee, apparently. The episode nine was about uh, my addiction to coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and he even said he was going to visit La Cafeta in Providencia. Wow, awesome. I recorded this episode six months ago. I hope the owner, Jorge, is still there and I hope the coffee is still good. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Radio, let's continue with this show, guys. Well, in this episode, we are going to learn about some phone etiquette. We will learn some new vocabulary related to phone etiquette, phone manners. We will learn some new terminology answering phone calls and ending phone calls. If we have time, we will talk about how to deal with difficult people on the phone, but uh, maybe I will reserve it for another episode. In this episode, I'd like to focus on the basics first, okay? I know that it can be quite scary to speak to someone on the phone in a different language. It can be difficult, especially because you cannot see the person, so you're not able to read their body language. Yep, scary and intimidating, intimidante. But I hope this episode helps you conquer this fear. One reason I wanted to do this episode is I know that some of you have jobs in call centers or are even thinking about applying for call center job. So this episode will be quite useful to you. Often you will need to know the right words to use when you're speaking with someone on the phone. This is one situation where being polite comes in handy. Se hace útil o práctico comes in handy. It's a good phrase to learn too. This is what we learned in the past few episodes, how to be polite, how to form questions in a polite manner. <laughs> Fantastic! You guys are doing great so far, listening to my gibberish as well, while I'm trying to make English fun. I know English can be confusing, but it can also be fun at the same time, so don't give up, people. No te rindas. What's that quote by Einstein, the famous uh, physicist, scientist, Einstein? Don't give up on your dreams. Keep sleeping. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> That's not it. That was a joke. Uh, he said he had many quotes, this guy. He said, anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. Mm, I like that. Basically, he's telling us it's okay to make mistakes because that's how we learn. Anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. Yeah, that's Einstein quote. So I'm curious, do you guys have any quotes um, you would like to share with the English Made Simple community? I would be keen to know some of your favorite quotes, even in Spanish or in your own language. And if you can translate them, that would be good. You can share them on Instagram and tag at English Made Simple or hashtag English Made Simple and put in your favorite quote. That would be really cool. Okay, shall we continue, guys? In this episode, we are going to learn something new. I'll teach you how to answer your phone in English and how to end a phone conversation. 
I will also teach you common phrases to use when speaking over the phone with someone. It is quite useful. Because English is not our first language, we often make mistakes of being too direct on the phone. Sometimes we can be too direct in certain situations and then we appear a bit rude and arrogant. Sometimes just one word such as could or may is necessary in order to sound polite. So remember how we, in the last episodes we learned how to form questions in a polite manner? Could you please, may I ask you a question instead of can I ask you a question? These are some examples what you can do over the phone so you sound more polite. So here are some tips when speaking on the phone in English. I advise you, number one, to learn some useful terms, some useful phone vocabulary. Number two, learn how to answer the phone politely. Number three, learn how to spell your name over the phone or how to give numbers over the phone. Number four, how to leave a voicemail message. Dejar una grabación o dejar un mensaje de voz. How to leave a voicemail message. Number five, how to end a conversation. Okay. So these are some things I would like us to learn in this episode. So let's begin. Firstly, I would like to start with how to answer the phone in English. What do you say when your phone rings? Now I'm going to do my best ringtone, the best ever. Ring, 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 ring. Okay, that's my phone ringing. Hi, Milena speaking. <laughs> Hola, habla Milena. Milena speaking. Okay, in English we say hi, the name, and then speaking. Hi, Juan speaking. Carlos speaking. Hi, Marcela speaking. And then you wait for the other person to respond. You shouldn't ask them who they are straight away. We just wait for the other person to respond and say why they, who they are and why they're calling. If a person that you don't know has called you, you don't recognize them, you should ask them politely, may I know who this is? Or may I know who is speaking? Who am I speaking with? Con quien hablo is another way you can do it. So there's three options you have. May I know who this is? May I know who is speaking? Who am I speaking with? Con quien hablo? And the other person should respond, you are speaking with Carlos or you are speaking with Paola. This is Paola. Very simple, but very effective. Okay, that was very simple. Now, how to end the call? If you're speaking with a friend, it's quite simple. Uh, okay, see you later is, an, is one way if you're speaking with a friend. Let's imagine you are at a uh, call center. You, you work at a call center. You are somewhere in a business environment where you have to use the phone uh, and you need to end the conversation. So you would say something like, anything else I can do for you today? ¿Qué más puedo hacer por usted hoy? ¿Algo más que pueda hacer por usted hoy? Is there anything else I can do for you today? We don't say anything more I can do for you. As in Spanish, you would say, que mas, algo mas. But in English, we always use the else. Anything else I can do for you today. In English, we say what else, not what more. To mean que mas or algo mas. Anything else? So if you're in a restaurant, uh, the waiter will ask you anything else. Would you like to order anything else, not algo mas? They wouldn't say anything more, okay? Just remember this. This is a good tip. If you're in a call center, you will say, thank you so much for calling us today. Is there anything else? And when they say no, you say, fantastic. Have a great day. That's it. Easy peasy, Japanesey. Excellent. Easy peasy. So what I would like for us to learn now is some useful phrases. And most of them are phrasal verbs. These are phrases that will help you expand your phone vocabulary. You're going to learn some new phrases with examples. Woo All right. So, uh, one phrase you, you need to know is pick up the phone. To pick up the phone means to answer the phone. Contestar el teléfono. Answer the phone. Pick up the phone. Okay, if you're with a friend and the phone is ringing, Ring, 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 ring. And it's annoying you. And you say to your friend, 
Uh, Maria, pick up the phone, please. Answer the phone. Pick up the phone. This, this is two words, pick up. To end the call, we usually say hang up. Colgar el teléfono. Hang up. This is again two words. Hang up means to end a call. So if you are talking with a friend and you're ending a phone call, you will say, oh, I need to hang up. I'm going to see this movie or something like that. To hang up means to end a call. Colgar el teléfono. To call someone back. Another term you need to know is to call someone back. To call someone who called you first. Devolver el llamado. Return the call is another way to say it. I'm going to call my friend back. I missed my friend's call and I'm going to call her back. Okay, call back. Another useful phrase for you guys. To hold on. Hold on means wait, esperar. Hold on. Let's continue with more examples, with more phrases. Guri, hope this is making sense so far, guys. Let's uh, imagine you're calling a friend and you get a busy signal. Mm, you, the phone is not ringing. You're getting a busy signal. Señal saturada. It's pronounced signal, not signal. Okay? The line is busy which is also kind of busy signal. You can say the line is busy, nobody is picking up the phone, the line is busy, está ocupado. The next phrase I was using quite often actually at my previous job, you often need to transfer the call to someone else, okay? To put someone through to someone else. Put through is like a transfer. Transfer the call to another person. Dejar con alguien más o transferir la llamada con alguien más. I need to put you through to Mr. Smith. Okay, here's an example. Sorry, ma'am, I'm not able to help you, but I will put you through Mr. Jones and he will be able to help you, okay? That's when we, that's an example when we use put through this phrasal verb. So, in this episode, we learned the basic phone terms and the most commonly used phrases. Right, guys, let's wrap up today's episode. Wrap up is a phrasal verb. Another phrasal verb. Yes, it means resumir. Wrap up. To wrap means to envelop something, envolver. Just imagine the food when you buy a wrap or a fajita. All the ingredients are wrapped. So that's wrap up. So wrap up means to summarize the conversation. If you're on the phone uh, or if you're in a business meeting or in this case to summarize this episode, to wrap up. Okay, we're going to finish this episode, guys. I hope you learned something new. Uh, so we learned how to answer the phone, how to end the phone conversation. And I taught you some really useful phrasal verbs, okay? These are the most commonly used phrasal verbs when it comes to using your phone, okay? Your mobile phone or your fixed phone, landline. Okay, I'll give you two things for homework. Practice, number one, practice and memorize the vocabulary in this episode. Number two, think about how you would spell your name and your address in English if you had to give your name and address over the phone to someone. I'll give you a tip. Listen to the next short and sweet episode. I will give you an easy way how you can spell your name quickly and effectively and clearly over the phone. Awesome! Well done, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Please take care this weekend. And remember, guys, all transcriptions are available on my website, EnglishMadeSimple.net. If you have any questions in regards to this episode, please let me know in the Facebook group, English Made Simple, or on my website, EnglishMadeSimple.net. It's been a pleasure. Until next time, take care. Ciao, ciao.